Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can download and install Java in just three simple steps so that you can begin writing your own Java programs. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and leave a like and let's get into it. Alright, so step one is we're going to need to go ahead and download the Java installer from the oracle.com. So go ahead and go ahead to Google type in Java JDK 13 and click on this link right here. I'll also link it down in the description. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and accept this license agreement and download the correct installer for your machine. Since I'm on Windows, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Windows 64 bit EXE because the EXE will make the installation nice and simple for us. All right, we'll move on to step two once that's all downloaded. All right, so here we're going to begin step two. All we have to do is go ahead and double click on this to run it. And the installation process will begin. It'll take care of everything for you. And once a little pop up box comes up here, we're just going to click next, click next again, let it do its thing. And once it's all done, we're just going to go ahead and click close. All right, guys, so the third and final step is to make sure that your computer knows where to look for the Java that we just installed. So, for example, if we go here and we open up a command prompt and we type in Java, it's going to give us an error and say Java is not recognized. So we are going to tell your computer where to look for Java using something called an environment variable. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and open up your file explorer, navigate to the C drive, program files, Java, JDK 13, and to the bin folder. Once you're in the bin folder, just go ahead and copy that address. We're then going to search again, this time for something called environment variables. Once, it, once we've searched that, we're going to click environment variables, click on path, edit, and we're going to click new. We're then going to go ahead and paste in the address that we just copied. So this is going to tell your computer to always check this folder to look for Java. Go ahead and click OK on all three of those boxes to make sure everything saves and open up the command prompt once again. To go ahead and make sure the installation was successful, just go ahead and type Java. And if you see all these commands that you can use here, you know you've done everything right. So if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and leave a like and drop any questions that you have in the comments. I'll make sure to get back to them.